Hello and welcome to this video tutorial on the use of one variable data tables in Microsoft Excel. My name is Renee Clark. Data tables in Excel are intended to assist with what-if analysis. There are two types of data tables, those that use one input cell and can have multiple output or result cells. These are known as one variable data tables and those that have two input cells and let you see the relationship between these input cells and they only have one output or result cell. These are known as two variable data tables. To use a data table you need a worksheet that has already been prepared for basic what-if analysis where you want to analyze the impact of changing factors. For example, an income statement that can be used to see the impact of the change in revenue or expenses on the net income of a company, such as you would use when you're evaluating cost, volume, profit. A one variable data table works with one input cell and any number of result or output cells. Here is a worksheet set up for analysis. I've got an income statement that works here for the widgets are us and we are going to build a break-even analysis using a one variable data table. I've already formatted the area and we're ready to start inputting. Under widgets are sold here in thousands we're going to put our input cell reference and this is going to be equal to cell B4 where the number of widgets sold for revenue calculations is entered in the income statement. Next we will add in the incremental change in number of widgets sold. Here we're going to start with 500 and see what happens if our company only sells 500 thousands of widgets and increment by a thousand. So our next will be 1500 and then thousand increments from there. Now we're ready to put in the output cells. So our revenue will be going to cell B6. Our total expenses here will go to cell B22 down here. And our net income will come from B23. Now we're ready to select the range of our table. Here we're not picking up the labels of widgets sold, revenue, expenses, and net income. We're only picking up the input, output cells, and the changing cells, and the area we want filled in for the table. Once I've got that range selected, I'm ready to go to the data ribbon, what if analysis, data table. Because my changing cells are here in a column, I'm going to tab down to column input cell, and my column input cell is number of widgets sold in thousands, which is located in my income statement in cell B4. Click OK and it will populate the table for me. Now you can see we can see where we're getting close to our break even. We can see that in order to make money we must sell over 2,500 and less than 3,500. We know from our initial income statement that 2,900 got us a net income of $37,300. So somewhere in this range right here we're seeing the impact and gives us information that will help us evaluate our break-even. From this we can use the data here in our one data variable table to create a chart to go with this. To create my chart I'm going to simply select the range of cells that I want charted I'm going to use just widget numbers sold, revenue and expenses, excluding net income to create this break-even analysis chart. Then I'm going to insert and under types of charts I'm choosing the scatter with straight lines. From here I simply move my chart, move my chart where I'd like it to be located, resize it as needed, to fit under the data area so that it looks like it belongs. And now I can start with my formatting. I'm going to take my chart title off, probably change the background color 
so that I have a solid fill of something like this to match my other, the rest of the worksheet. I'll change that plot area as well. Make that a white background. Now I can go ahead and here it's time to start working with the scale of the chart. I'll change the scale so that it better matches my number of units sold. So under Axis, More Options, I'm going to change the bounds so that it starts at 500, which is what I'm starting at, and goes to 8,500 as my maximum. That gives me a better range. As far as the dollars, let's take a look at that. I think that we can probably leave that as it is. This gives us a better idea of what's going on and it's easier to pinpoint our break-even point now when you're looking at our chart. More of my lectures can be found on YouTube by searching for Renee K. Clark and then subscribing to my channel. You will find a variety of Excel lectures available as well as selected other lectures.